ratios are used to make comparisons between two things. When we express ratios in words, we use the word two. That is, we say the ratio of something to something else. Ratios can be written in several different ways. As a fraction, using the word two, or with a colon. Let us consider the following shapes. To learn more about ratios, how can we write the ratio of squares to circles? The most common way to write a ratio is as a fraction, 3 by 6. We could also write it using the word 2, as 3 to 6. Finally, we could write this ratio using a colon between the two numbers, 3 to 6. Be sure you understand that these are all ways to write the same number. Which way you choose, will depend on the problem or the situation. The two numbers in ratio are called terms of the ratio. In a ratio, the first term is called the antecedent and the second, the consequent. In the ratio 2 to 3, 2 is the antecedent and 3 is the consequent. Duplicate ratio. If A to B is a ratio, then its duplicate ratio is a square. To B square. In our consideration 2 to 3, its duplicate ratio is 2 square to 3 square. That is, 4 to 9. Subduplicate ratio. If A to B is a ratio, then its subduplicate ratio is root A to root B. For example, if 16 to 25 is a ratio, then its subduplicate ratio is root of 16 to root of 25, which is equal to 4 to 5. Inverse or reciprocal ratio. The inverse ratio of A to B is 1 by A to 1 by B. Again consider the example 2 to 3. If 2 to 3 is a ratio, then its inverse ratio is 1 by 2 to 1 by 3. Triplicate ratio. If a B is a ratio, then its triplicate ratio is a cube to B cube. In our consideration 2 to 3, its triplicate ratio is 2 cube to 3 cube. That is, 8 to 27. Finally, we are going to see about Subtriplicate ratio. If A to B is a ratio, then its subtriplicate ratio is cubic root of A to cubic root of B. For example, if A to 27 is a ratio, then its subtriplicate ratio is 2 to 3 